So you can consider this as one of the most frequent asked question in .NET or REST API interviews. So the question is how you can implement the pagination. So we can see it now. Okay. But first, let me tell you why you need pagination. So when you are dealing with the large data set, okay, returning a single response can lead to a performance issue in REST API. So it's better to return those results in pages. So this is our HTTP GET API, which is returning list of employees. Okay. And these are the employees, if you say in my database. So, so we'll be implementing the pagination by taking the a small limit so that we can show you how the pagination works. Now we can take two parameters, page and limit. Okay. So int page comma int limit. Let's create a method. So what I can do is we can create a method here. Let me just create a private method. So it will return me list of employee. Okay. And we can name that method as get paginated employee okay so we are going to take here int pays comma int limit comma and then list of employees okay so we can say that uh, this is all employees let me call this method from here okay? so instead of returning employees okay we can return that method by passing three parameters we have so pays comma limit comma employees okay let's go and implement this method now so few precautionary check so if page is less than one okay then we are going to set the page as one okay to discard any invalid data okay so if uh, let's say limit is less than one in that case also we can set the limit is equal to one we need to see how many records we want to skip so where is skip is equal to we can take page minus one into limit all right now let's calculate the paginated employee we'll be taking all employees all right this is the list of all the employees and then we'll be using dot skip function we'll be passing the skip so this will skip the records which we do not want and then we can use dot take function and we can pass the limit here all right and then let's convert this to to list okay and then at the end let's return this paginated employee so that's all guys let me put a breakpoint here okay and then we can show you by running this project okay. all right so this is the endpoint which we are going to utilize so let me try it out so let's give the page as two so second page number and limit is three so what this will do is it will skip the first page number with three records okay so ideally if you see we have these records which are going to be skipped and it will take these three records okay so let's execute it all right let's continue so here it came okay so if i go here so if you see skip is equal to three which means it is gonna skip the three record and if i continue you can see it has given you 18 19 and 23 records okay now what if i make this as page is equal to one it will take first three records okay let's execute it so if you go here now you will be seeing skip is equal to zero so it will not skip any record okay let's continue so here you go you are getting first three records one two and seventeen 